Hi, this is Manish. So today I'm going to talk about scheduling multiple workflow with dependencies. Now you can ask me what is dependencies, what is multiple workflow, why we are talking about these things. Yeah. So uh, for example, uh, sim we are taking one simple example. So suppose your job, job in the same uh, sense, it's a business term, cannot, uh, should not uh, relate to a technical in one job you have multiple workflows a job is suppose load customer information okay so to load customer information what customer may have customer may have uh, customer name first name middle name last name gender date of birth okay so this information suppose will be loaded through a workflow one what else customer relate to customer may have a identifiers a customer may have a SSN number tax ID pan card passport number so these are the identifiers so customer may have addresses so workflow one is loading customer information name first name middle name age Cust workflow 2 is loading identified information of the customer so pan number tax id whatever and addresses is loading customer addresses maybe personal address business home so but so these are three workflows workflows which which is uh, used for loading customer information but can we load workflow 2 before workflow 1 workflow 1 is loading party information and in the table in the target table we have constraint issue like we have foreign key and primary key relationship so without party we cannot load addresses we cannot load identifiers because identifier and addresses related to a party so first party should get loaded then the party child level should be loaded but how we make how we can make dependencies between workflow 1 workflow 2 workflow 3 can we make it and how to schedule it uh, scheduling thing already I covered in previous uh, videos uh, but still I will cover here it's very small topic so I will cover here so what I'm going to do I'm um, I have uh, already two workflow ready so what I will do I will create dependency between workflow the first workflow with the second one so if first workflow will uh, will complete then second will start so how to do that in Informatica so this technical thing I'm going to discuss today so hope you understand uh, this scenario so let me open this is a workflow so I am I have selected two workflow here so this is a, a, a workflow which is a loading employee underscore AGGIN table don't go into the detail like what is in that just think this workflow is loading this table so let me check what is the uh, record currently available for this okay so this workflow this table uh, doesn't have any data okay good so what I'm going to do is okay let me open second workflow so this is first workflow so it is loading one table called employee underscore aggin and the second workflow is uh, this one it, it is an indirect file load which is uh, loading multiple indirect files into one single file in, uh, into one single table so you can see here so this is indirect file and we are loading into one single instance 
so what is the instance name employee underscore indirect so let me check the data in table so if it if, if it will be there i have to delete it because i need to so the workflow dependency scenario so there is no data available now correct so these two tables are uh, truncated and there is no data in that so what i'm going to do i'm saying in this scenario like second workflow is dependent on this indirect file uh, i'm assuming that this indirect file load workflow is dependent on this second first workflow this workflow aggin123 so whenever so and it should run every five minutes or ten minutes in real scenario in batch process we uh, do, do not run in that on that short time we uh, we run in hourly basis or um, twice a day twice uh, twice a day so for this scenario i'm saying this workflow will run uh, every five minutes or ten minutes and after this the second workflow should start so this workflow should start so do we need to schedule both the workflow not required so how to achieve this uh, first what i'm going to do here in the second workflow i will create dependency so which component of uh, workflow should i use to create dependency so there are multiple options you can see but we have to select event wait okay so what uh, basically event wait does uh, let me first uh, connect with this and this this is not required So this is event wait. So double click here. So you can see there are multiple uh, uh, tabs. One is properties tab, one is event tab. So if you uh, select on event tab, you will see multiple options over there. Like please select an event to wait for. That is predefined event. This is file watch event, you can say. What it does basically, it check a file. If you give a location and file name, it will check for a particular file if it will be there in the location it will start executing it will it will wait for that file if it gets the file it will start it will go to the next uh, session it will allow to uh, start this workflow okay so in properties tab uh, you can see delete file delete file watch file means whatever file we uh, give here in event you want to delete that file suppose what what we do generally if if it gets the file at uh, the touch file then it will start uh, executing the session and at the same time it will delete that touch file so in the next run again if uh, scheduling tool generate uh, the second uh, second touch file then it will start again so like that it it is creating dependency so how to do that do that so what i'm saying i'm saying this is the folder where my there is a there is no file available as of now so this is the folder where i will get file and the name of that file should be this apply and in properties tab i'm saying if you read that file if you, if you got that file delete it and process it your start your workflow okay 
so how this workflow will run how this event will check every time so for that go to workflow go to edit scheduler and select on schedule or uh, tab so here you see uh, there are multiple options available so currently by default it is run on demand manually if you want to run you can do it but what is this run continuously so what it uh, does it will run continuously it will run this workflow continuously but if we do that will this workflow run so answer is no it will not run why it will not run because it will wait for a event to even this event wait to to uh to success if it if this will this is not success then it will not go further it will not go to the next session so So even wait So if this event wait status is succeeded then it will go to the next session so this is done but will it work no you have to schedule it okay so you can see uh, it is displaying a uh, time 8 1 so it will it, it, it already started but it will not execute till this folder if uh, it will check in this folder if it gets test file then it will run so it is now watching this folder now in the master workflow what we are going to do after this session will if this session gets success then we'll add a command to create a touch file So here, uh, this is window. I know, uh, basically, I don't like this window environment because it's uh, very complicated to write uh, query. So copy Manish and uh, give that file location. and the file name click apply click here status Dead. click ok so this is the parent workflow and this is child workflow so child workflow is waiting for an event so what is the event it is waiting for a for a file in a particular location so still there is no file available and if it gets file it will start this workflow because we have already changed uh, workflow or uh, scheduling to uh, continuous run continuous and this is the this is the master file master workflow so in that what what we are doing we are saying after this uh, session uh, if after this uh, after this session uh, got success then run this command create a file touch file so this is the workflow which we have to schedule it so
so should I do run continuously no run on integration integration service initialization so run on every um, we are saying uh, so I'm saying it's not our uh, every three minutes so end option should be forever so for more detail you can watch my previous video so this is done forever click ok now let me check again uh, so this event wait is waiting for this file okay and it will delete if okay now go to the master workflow so in this command we are creating touch file so when it will uh, run when this session gets success it will start the it will create touch file and then we have already scheduled it so you can see here so run forever and every three minutes now after this you have to right click here in this palette and schedule workflow okay so it's saying it will start at 8 7 so now it's 8 6 so this is the temp folder so it should automatic uh, it should create uh, this test dot text file here so we are waiting for one more minute to see whether the, that workflow is able to create a test file here or not So, so you can see our uh, test file tech test file is created and at the same time it is deleted because we have uh, we we have already uh, added this delete command in the child workflow in this event. So when it uh, got that file in this folder it uh, started it start that execution this for this workflow execution and deleted the file so go to database and check whether so you can see our uh, data has been loaded and this table also loaded so this is how we can uh, make a dependency between a workflow 1 workflow 2 a workflow 3 so the first workflow the master workflow should uh, should be uh, like if you have to schedule it on time daily basis or hourly basis uh, weekly basis but the child table should run always continuous so whenever it and they should wait for some event to start and if event if if they uh, receive that event or that file whatever you are creating then it will start that workflow so thank you for watching this video